basically with brushes, um, we're going to look at the jazz style. And so to start off with, divide the snare drum into two sections. Your right hand will play this side, and your left hand will play that side. So your left hand is going to play circles or oblong shapes. So basically what happens is you get down to one here, two there, one, two, three, four. One, that's what you're doing with your left hand. Okay? Now you can push down a little bit to get a slightly more swishing effect as you go into the two. So you become so it becomes like this. One, two, a three, four. A one, two, a three, four. One, two. Three, four, one. Now it's very important that the circle, the one and three stays down here or close to that area and the two and four stays up there or close to that area. If you start having the two and four in and out here, you'll lose the whole sense of the feel and the timing. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's how you're gonna get the timing. Now the right hand simply plays the standard jazz right single pattern, which is one, That's the start of this whole thing. Get that down, learn how to do it. And let's take a look at some variations of that. For example, instead of doing one, two, three, four, let's look at playing one, two. So the circle or the oblong shape is now twice as far. So therefore, we're going to get all the beats one, two, three, four up this end of the drum. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You notice I'm squishing the effect once again on the, on the down beats. It gives you that additional whoosh, whoosh sound. So let's, let's try that at the same uh, pace, 75 beats per minute. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, slower tempos. Based on one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Now on the single. Let's take a look at swishing the right hand. This is where it gets a little bit more interesting. So the pattern of the right hand, which is one, two, three, four, we want to try and still get that sound. Da, 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 okay? So, so the way to do that, or here's one way to do it, is to play a Z. So think of it like Zorro. He's doing his, you know when you see Zorro and he, and he strikes with the sword and he gets that Z effect, exactly that kind of thing. So one, two, when you finish, so Z, get off the drum. So one, two, so two becomes the end of the Z. One, two, then you come back on a three, four, a one, two, a three, four. So let's go through that slowly. Z, off, a Z, off, a Z. That's, that's the simplest way I can put it. So, one, two, a three, four, a one, two, a three, four. Get the idea? Z, off, a, uh, and when we come back on the R, uh, so we go Z, off, slice, or swish, and then start the Z again. So, swish, then start the Z again. Play that now with the high on two and four and the swishing effect. So four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now you get this is where it gets a bit more interesting than just simply playing this. One, two, three, four. The swishing effect of the right hand really brings out the effect. 
circle then a big circle, small circle and a big circle. One, two, a three, four. now is I'll play that a little bit faster. So let's go up to uh, 100 beats per minute and let's try that same type of two, a three, two, one, two, three, four. Now I'm doing a slow circle or small of the big circles. Now let's As you continue to uh, develop this technique, you'll start feeling naturally like I just did there, those little. So within the circle, you can put us and, and, and different beats here and there. So one, two, three, four, four, one, two. So what that is, is one, two, three, four, five, one. So as I'm still going through the circle, when I'm getting to that point, I'm hitting it and then continuing with the circle. One, So it's still within. So the, the important part here is that this circle thing is keeping the time. One, it's, it's not just a bunch of random patterns. It's actually time. One, two, three, four. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks very much.